everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been probably four months since my last thrift haul or since my last video where I talked about stuff that I found in secondhand stores and the charity shops and there's really good explanation for that because I have not been purchasing anything uh, worthy of mention in particular. These items I'm going to show today they are weeks even months apart uh, so I thought I would just wait a while and then gather all the stuff that I have and then show you guys all together. So that is what I'm going to do. Yay! I have a serious problem with bowls and kitchen supplies in general because I really really love it and I especially love hand painted uh, bowls like this one. I have been posting this a couple of times on Instagram as well I believe. Um, but I just really really love finding beautifully decorated bowls and plates and glasses so this is one of the smaller ones I got this in an antique store and it was only one and a half pound or what is equivalent of one and a half pound so that was a pretty good deal so I have been lacking these uh, small medium-ish sized ones and then I bought a large one as well the large one is as a matter of fact rather large uh, and funny story because I actually found this uh, in a smaller size in a thrift shop uh, a year ago, half a year ago, and I bought that because I really, really like the pattern, and I also really like that it was made in the old Soviet Russia. I think that's a funny touch. Um, but I broke it into a million pieces, and I tried to glue them together, and it just—it's—it's—it's it, it, it's a, it's, it's a bloody disgrace. Uh, so I still have it, but it. It can't hold any liquid, so it's just beautiful to look at. But I was super, super sad by that fact that I couldn't use my bowl anymore. And then I found this in uh, the same secondhand. Uh, I found this in the same antique store as the other bowl, and it was fifteen pounds, something like it's a bit much for a bowl uh, of my liking. But I just needed to have this because I am incredibly uh, in love with the design. So. I got it anyway and it's also a really really great size because I use it for mixing batter um, and for salads everything so yeah lovely okay another thing I do not believe I have mentioned these on the blog yet but I have a post coming about this funny thing of mine uh, I really love collecting all uh, laboratory equipment and this is my latest purchase it's a really really great uh, thing to collect because there I only buy stuff from uh, ordinary charity shops, secondhand stores, uh, antique stores, and um, so there is not so much to choose from. So when I find something, I'm incredibly excited about it. I really like uh, lab equipment as vases. I use them for small flowers, and I think it's a really lovely contrast. And I got this for half a pound. So. As I said, I buy everything in the thrift store, and that's how I really, really like to do things. Um, so it not very long ago it was doing Easter um, me and my boyfriend we really thought we wanted to play some board games but we didn't really have any board games where we were so we hit the charity shop and I found some board games and I took them home with me as well of course uh, so yeah this one is uh, an old picture lottery uh, game that I also played as a child so it was really fun to see this again I actually got this for free because it was it was stuck to another board game that I also bought. So I only paid for one, but I got two, which was really great. The condition of the box is not very flattering, but the, the uh, game itself is fine. And I got a game of Ludo, uh, which I really love, and I think it's a pretty nice table. If you like board games, it's always funny. We use it sometimes as a drinking game, and that is brutal. So yes, this was this was the one that I got and the other one for free and I got them both for ten, not one pound. Not ten pounds, one pound. That is what I got that is not uh, fashion related so if you'll just move on to the fashion bits. The favourite item is the one I'm going to show you first. Uh, I don't know why it was in the top of the pile. Um, but I found this for five pounds in a vintage store. And it's like an old lady um, blazer jacket. And I really, really like that. It's super, super rough in its material. It's made of wool. I use this as a light coat during spring and I used it during um, autumn. 
and it's it's really really great because it's made of wool so it does keep you warm to some extent um but i like to make contrasts with my outfit so this really classy and elegant jacket and together with some ripped jeans or my fedora hat or you know heavy eye makeup something like this i really love these contrasts so yes this is my all-time favorite i think when i got that coat jacket blazer i also got a jumper and these two things uh, they're from a, a local vintage shop that i got a gift certificate to from a friend for my birthday so that is why i went in the first place i think they're a little bit expensive sometimes but they have some sort of clearance sale which was awesome so i also got this jumper and i i, I have this crazy love for crazy jumpers and they are just the best. The great thing about these are that Danish summer, eh, uh, so I can wear these all year round which is awesome. Then I hit a charity shop not very long ago because my I have one pair of jeans I made a post about only owning one pair of jeans and I think I will link it down below because I, now I actually own two because my other pair ripped all the way around and I have to find a way to use these jeans still in some way maybe I can you know, um, upcycle them something like this uh, because the fabric is completely fine but yeah they just ripped all the way around the legs uh, which is going to be pretty hard to fix uh, so I went to a charity shop seeing if I could find uh, some jeans to replace them uh, and the problem is I think with secondhand jeans and jeans from the thrift shop is that they sometimes are very baggy and they don't have my size and I have always had this feeling that jeans is something that is super 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 extremely difficult to buy in a thrift shop but I actually found that it was not I went straight to the shelf with the jeans and I took these out and they were perfect and it's skinny jeans, which I was amazed by because I have not seen them very much in charity shops. But I think I got lucky because I found these just ordinary, straight up black jeans with a little bit of stretch in it, which is very flattering. So I really, really love these. They are my new staple. Amazing. Now it gets exciting. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I have found with the jeans I first came across this it is a a-line dress uh, with spaghetti straps and I got this for three pounds um, but I love it it is a little bit magical if you can see yeah um, but it's a little bit magical it's very loose at the bottom and really tight at the top which I enjoy i think it's super super great and i got this primarily because i um, have been wanting other kind of styles of dresses because i have the same kinds of dresses and i just have four of them and i it has been bothering me for quite a while so i have been searching for new styles of dresses so i can vary a bit with my style and this will be so great for summer because i'm going on holiday and that will just be right on. The last one is actually something that I haven't really worn yet but I'm looking so much forward to it I think I will might, might have to take it in um, but it is just so beautiful I had to get it I think I paid three pounds for this and it's just completely beautiful. Uh, it is so hard to show though it is a dress that comes with a petticoat um, but it's like one of those crossover dresses and it it goes all the way down to the ankles um, but I just really like the pattern, you know, I, I think it's extremely pretty. Yeah, but I am the biggest idiot when it comes to show this dress. Probably this is a complete disgrace. Um, but I think I will style it very soon. I'll post pictures so you guys can check it out, maybe. Um, but yeah, just take my word for it, this is really pretty. But yeah, incredibly hard to show. Um, that is all I have bought within four months. It is all stuff that I think I need to one extent or another. Um, but yeah, I think I'm all settled for summer clothes related. And yeah, I would love to know if you liked this video. If you did, you can leave a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment 
or you can tell me in the comments if you found anything really cool in the thrift store lately I would love to know if you want to check out more videos and go to my channel you can also subscribe if you're completely mad um, but I would personally love it if you did you can also go and follow my blog giddymary.com and of course you can follow me on Instagram as well and on Facebook as well ha. Uh, all the links are down below so you guys just go nuts. I'm looking forward to talking to you next time and until then, 